Hi, welcome to lesson number six. Today's lesson, we're using all of our books. Um, and again, we have a lot of teacher duets, so it should be pretty fun. And let's get started. So once again, we're starting in our theory book, uh, page eight and nine. We are gonna talk about the composer Brahm today. We talked about Bach last time a little bit, and it has some of these interesting facts about him. I'm just going to read those um, for you really quick. Brahms supported his family as a child by playing in dance halls. He loved to read and eventually had over 800 books as an adult. And he became so famous, he is now known as one of the three Bs, Bach, Beethoven, and Brahms. So he did a really good job writing his music, apparently. Okay, so what we're going to do down here is We'll write in our time signature, 3-4 or 4-4, four, four, based on what you, how many beats you see here. And underneath, you're going to write in the counts. So 1, 2, 3, 1. So that one would be 3-4 timing. It has three beats. This one, 1, 2, and 3, 4, and. So it would be 4-4 four, four timing, and you'd write those beats under. Then you're going to continue and do the rest for all of it. If you remember, this is a half rest, so I'd get two counts. One, two, three, four. Okay, and I'm going to let you do the rest. Um, down here, it has a few more interesting facts. He loves loved gypsy bands, gypsy melodies, and rhythms inspired his music. He wrote four symphonies that are among the greatest in orchestra music, and he's buried beside Beethoven. I didn't know that. <laughs> so that's very interesting. Um... Moving on, here's a gypsy tune. And what you're going to do here is you're going to write in the time as signature, so figure out what it is. You'll clap the rhythm with me. So let's do that really fast. I'm just gonna tap it. So let's do that together. You clap it while I tap it. Ready? One, two, three, four. 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 Okay, then down at the bottom, we'll just do the same thing really quick. One and two and three. One and two and three. One, two, 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 and three. And one, two, three. Okay, so then you're going to just set a steady beat and try to sight read these. So I'm not going to play it for you because I want you to just try to sight read. All right, and then, actually I won't clip in yet. Sorry, I'm probably making you sick with my camera today. <laughs> um, we're going to do this sight reading, or not sight reading, ear training part. And I'm going to play one of these and you have to pick which one it is. So... Listen for the timing and listen for the notes and see if you can figure out which one I'm playing. So here's the first one. Okay, I'll do it one more time. And that would be B. Number two. Okay, let me do it again. Okay, that's gonna be A. Here's number three. Let me play it again. Okay, so if you notice the only difference is the natural here and the D, da, 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 the end. So I played I played A. Alright, and last, here we go. Okay, one more time. So that's it for our theory book. Sorry about the wild ride with the camera. And next we are into our technique books. We do have our technique book today. We're going to look up here. It says every piece has a mood. What is the mood for a race car rag? So it's going to put you put a check mark next to the mood. So after you play through this, you can go ahead and kind of figure that out. You're going to want to hear it first. So it says, first practice at a slow tempo speed, then gradually work up to a winning speed. So you're going to want to play this fast at the end. First, you have to play it slow and get all the notes right. So 
Um, you have some dynamics. You have forte, mezzo piano, forte, mezzo piano. So it's a little lighter there. You're gonna come down with your thumb here, like we practiced in a couple lessons before, where my thumb is on C, it's gonna reach down to the B. Um, your whole hand is not moving, it's just your thumb moving down. And then that happens again here. Your whole hand, both hands are gonna move up here to the A and play up one more note and then back down to the G here. And then you have some staccatos at the end, okay? All right, so here's the example. And then we'll do the teacher duet. One, two, ready, go. Let's try that with the teacher duet. It's gonna be four beats and begin, but it's fast, so just be ready for it. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, go. That's really fun. Once you get it pretty fast, then it gets really fun. Okay, moving on. Here we have one of Brahms' most famous tunes. So this is the lullaby, and I'm sure you've all heard it. Okay, so what I want you to focus on on this song is playing it very gently. Lullabies are very gentle, gentle, they're very sweet. It's like you're trying to put a baby to sleep. So try to just play it really gently. And if you notice, you have mezzo piano. This is your melody in the bottom. Okay, this is your harmony in the top, so it's quieter, it's piano. And um, you'll go through kind of like that. And there's some flats, so watch for your flats. And then at the very end, you're gonna slow down and hit the highest Play, well, any high F it says, okay? So I'm gonna give you an example of this. It starts with my three finger on A and my five and three fingers here on the A and the F, okay? And it comes in on three and, so I'm gonna count one, two, and then three and, okay? All right, one, two. Three and one, two, three and one, two, 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 So here comes the teacher duet for that one. Again, pretty soft. Now you're gonna come in after five beats because it's gonna give you a measure, three beats, and then we say one, two, and then begin, okay? One, two, three, one, two. Three and one, two.
So that way is actually a little faster than I think it should be. That's my fault. I did that. <laughs> I should have slowed it down. Anyways, oh well. Okay. And lastly for our books, we're going to do the song Home on the Range. So I don't know if you're going to know this song. Um, when I was growing up, I felt like everybody knew this song, but it's kind of older. It's an American folk song. So hopefully you've heard it. The, oh, give me a home where the buffaloes roam. So this is pretty famous too. Um, it's three, four timing. We're going to come in after two beats. One, two. Oh, give me a home. And the melody is switching between your left hand and your right hand all through here. Um, just watch your dynamics a little bit. You got some piano, da da da, um, some forte. Here is the chorus, home, home on the range. You're gonna play that a little bit louder. And there is a fermata here, so we'll play the fermata with um, just the first example, or with you playing it. When you play the teacher duet, you can't do the fermata, but um, it continues on to the end, piano at the end. And not too bad. So I'm gonna give you a little example. My four finger is gonna start here on the G, and my one finger is starting here on the C. So as of the beginning, I'm playing with both my thumbs on C, and they will switch back and forth who plays that C, so just watch. One, two. So let's try that with the teacher duet. Um, again, it's going to play four beats, like a whole measure, or excuse me, three beats. It's going to do a whole measure of three beats, and then two more beats, okay, and then we begin on the third. So it goes one, two, three, one, two, begin, okay? One, two, three, one, two. And that is it for our books and today what we're doing is we're just putting our um, hands together for our G scale so last week we did hands separate this week we're doing four octaves hands together so again it gets tricky but the easier the thing that's easier about the G scale is you just have to remember this four finger is always hitting the F sharp and this two finger is always hitting the F sharp and that actually keeps you on track a little bit so 
So we're gonna do the four octaves up and the four octaves down. Keep your hands in a good position. Keep those fingers curved. Keep your thumb reaching under and over. Okay. Um, and just make sure that you're playing it enough each day that it's getting easier and easier every time. Okay. All right. And that's it for this lesson. I sure hope that you get a lot of practicing in. That um, Take a week to practice. And try not to rush through your songs. Make sure that they are able, you're able to play them with the teacher duets so they're good enough to move on. And if you can do that, then you are ready to pass them off. So keep practicing. Practice for about a week and then do another lesson. Um, and you should be good. Okay, see you next lesson.